What is up everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 video. In today's video, we are going to be finishing up the work on the Lamborghini. Uh, if you guys remember in uh, the last video, we worked on this Lamborghini. Wait, what year is it? I guess it doesn't really say. Probably it's 20, probably 2015 or newer. Uh, Lamborghini uh, Centenario, I think is what it's called. Uh, we did the entire engine bay. Um, at least we did the entire engine uh, we got this thing fully done. We, I slapped the gearbox on before or after we finished the video just because uh, I wanted to actually like move the thing. Let me see here. Ooh, there it is. Let's do this real quick while we're here. We got to fill this thing up with some soup oil, some premium motor oil. Uh, so yeah, in this video, we're going to be going through finishing the body. The body's going to be the most expensive part. I got 273,000. I'm hoping this is enough, guys worst case scenario all right ready worst case scenario it's not enough we sell the 350 we can always go buy another one and build another one so it's not too big of a deal here uh this is our off-road 4x4 three, or uh yeah 350 i mean i would suck to sell it but it's gonna be really 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 expensive to do this i might head to the junkyard soon and look around scrounge around see if i can find any lamborghini parts um highly unlikely but you never know Let's close this. All right, so first off, we're gonna raise this thing in the air and we're gonna do the suspension and then we're gonna do wheels and tires after that. So these are using the Pagani rims, I think it's the Temp Tempestas. Yes, the rim Hyra Tempesta. So we're gonna continue using these because these things are pretty bad in a good way. these disconnected we're gonna do all of the uh, springs and stuff first before we do anything else further what the heck really oh okay there was like a little red when you clicked on this it highlighted the top red so I was like wait what the heck there we go all right is there any in the rear Ooh, there's some rear ones let's get these rear mounted ones out of here oh wait is there Oh, we're in the front. That's why. There we go. Interesting. We got some. I've never had double wishbone rear shock absorbers before. At least I don't think I've worked on them recently. Okay, now that those are all done, let's hit the spring puller real quick. We're going to try and save as much money on everything as we can. Because as you guys know, we're a little strapped for cash at the current moment go and I think we're gonna keep the same wheel and tire size um, that we had before let me here let's do this really quick I'm gonna write it down on my sticky notes that I always use when I'm working on these so it's 2 255 35 20 all right got that wrote down I think it's yep it's the same all throughout the front no nope. oh Okay, so 35 in the rear, 30 in the front. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That should work. That should work. Okay. Yeah, so it's a 35 profile in the back, 30 in the front. Let's see if we can repair these rims. Maybe we repaired one at least. And since these are the Pagani rims, they're like a couple thousand a piece, so. Let's try not to have to buy more more than we need to. Yeah, see that cost five hundred dollars to fix that one. It was like two eighty eight twice. So then this in here. Eleven hundred dollars. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of money. Okay, yeah, so we definitely do save money doing it this way. Saving at least half the price. Okay, so we saved two, let's see. So we have one, two, three. So we lost one of the 20 inch. Oh, these are 255, not, th ooh, okay, okay. So the 35s are in the front. Oh, I could have, I almost messed that up really bad. 255s in the front, 355 30s in the rear. 
Okay, here. Let me let me just rewrite this whole thing down. I don't want to mess this up. So this is the rear, and it's 30. 35s are in the front with a 250. So there's a hundred difference between the thickness of the tires. Okay. Sell. Sell. Okay. There we go. Now we got that done. So we have... We have to buy one 20-inch Tempesta. There it is. I just bought a 16-inch on accident. Okay, there we go. Ah, I can't believe I just accidentally double-clicked that. It's all right. We only lost a little bit of money. It's not too big of an issue. Um, and then let's go into here. Tire shop. Uh, I think it was sport tires is what we had. Which loading schedule looks the best? Okay, we'll do sports. Uh, we're going to do two with a size of 20 with a 355 width with a profile of 30. So 1900 for those. And then two more 20, 255, 35. Oh, there you go. Save. Saves a little bit of money doing those. Okay, so. Okay, so these don't matter. These can take any tire. All right, any more separated? Okay, we do. There we go. Install these with these. Balance these bad boys. Ooh, these sport tires look nice. I'd never use sport tires. I'm always using like slicks, um, off-roads, or vintages. Just because of like the builds we do. It's usually one of those. It's not usually a, a sport-oriented build, I guess. All right, pull that. Okay. So now we got front spring, double wishbone, double wishbone, rear. So we need two in each, the front and rear. And we can't. Dang it. I was hoping we would be able to actually hold on to those and repair them. You know, save some money, but no. It's all right. Okay, so main shop. Let's get the double wishbone shock absorber over rear. Shock over front. Uh, then we're gonna need springs. We'll do two for now. Let's see if cap. And I think the rear cap looked like this. The front cap looked like this. So let's see which one the rear will take. Because I'm not sure, honestly. There's the last one there. Okay. So let's see which ones these spring poles will take. So we have the double wishbone shackles over rear. Okay, so we do need a rear spring for these. go take this join this all right that's pretty easy all right and we got all of our tires mounted and balanced ready to go we are almost done with our springs here man I'm really looking forward to this thing being an expensive car I'm hoping to make two mil off of this guys as I said in the last episode we're looking to make two mil uh, what are we at right now? Right now we're at a quarter or half a mil. Um, but when we add all these parts back in, we get the restoration bonus, which will end up being huge. I think it's percentage based. Um, I think we're going to be pulling in an absolute ton here. All right, let's start on all of this stuff back here. There we go. It kind of sucks that this is a mod because the mod. Why is it not letting me remove this? Okay, because the mod. Uh... There's no special Lamborghini parts other than the body parts. Uh, like there's no special like big brakes or anything like that. No big brake kits or anything of that sort, which is what you would normally see. Um, but you know, you take what you can get, especially since this thing 
It is kind of a money pit, but it is a money maker in the end when you sell it. The goal, yeah, the goal is to make a couple mil. I think on the low end, we'll make one and a half million dollars here. So then after that, every single time I see a Lamborghini in the junkyard with like super low percentages like all this one, I'll probably try and keep it to like a 35 percentage instead of 5% like this one was. Um, just because then you can repair more parts from it. But if we do start doing that more often, we'll start taking home way more money, way more often. Okay, so then since this thing doesn't have a front cross member or anything, it's just all straight up just slapped up together here. Yeah, usually this thing has a front cross member here, but no, not today. Axles. Oh, I don't remember if the rear discs were ventilated or not. I probably should have been paying attention to that. It's okay. There we go. Upper suspension arms. Dropping these bad boys out. Oh, let's get this link off first. I always try to do the small things first, like uh, tie rods, end links, uh, upper and lower support arms, and then I do the whole knuckle assembly, just because I feel like it's a lot faster. But not in this case. The cheapest part about this build is everything except for the tires and wheels and the body. Everything else though, the entire suspension, the entire motor, super cheap. Oh, guys, we're... Oh, my gosh. I just realized in this episode, we're going to hit level 42. Ooh, getting closer to 45. I think that's the level we need to hit, right? 45? Yep, 45. And then we get this, which instantly examine all these. And then 50 is... It's good to be lucky. I don't know what that one is, but it's a... Uh, it's a high, high level one, so... Okay. Sounds like we destroyed a lot of stuff there, but, you know, it's okay. Uh, front soy bar. Okay, so... Let's see here. So we need a front sway bar. We need a bottom suspension arm. Hey, look at that. That one worked. Okay, so we need front sway bar and two bottom suspension bars. Let's see here. Front sway bar get two end links one of these and then let's grab the uh, bottom suspension oh we're gonna need to buy some more rubber bushings too sweet we got the shock absorber Did we get the correct end links ah we did okay I don't remember if the rears had end links also the same as this one but you know, let's go, let's find out in a second. Uh, let's see, knuckle, front knuckle axle cover, and then we need tie rods. Let's get four of each. Let's also pick ourselves up some rubber bushings. Let's get some small ones. I just buy those uh, twenty at a time, just because there's no point in buying the specific amount because you're gonna need it for every single car that you work on. So why not let's see now we need to grab front wheel hub two three yeah not having to do the cross member here speeds it up a lot and there's no like four by four uh system up here so again really really easy <laughs> let's see wheel bearing four of those let's get some discs Two ventilated, because I don't know what the rears take, so I'm not going to buy them yet. Four of those. What else do we need? Am I missing something? I just couldn't remember. Pads. We saved the one front drive axle, so we need the other A side. Okay, and then we need to put on the 255s in the front. 
Yes. There we go. Oh, that's gonna look so good. Yeah, the 255s are the, are the correct size to put up here. Then let's get axle A, front drive axle A. Um, and then we're gonna need some new calipers. I think we needed two calipers, one of those, I couldn't remember. All right. Get the suspension arms in. So the body here, guys, is what's going to be the most expensive part that we're going to be coming up on. I think it was $90,000 alone for the front bumper or rear bumper. One of the two bumpers was 90 k alone. So honestly, odds are we might have to go back through and sell the... Yeah, we might have to go back through and sell the F-350. Which I really, really don't want to. But we might have to... Might have to bite the bullet, guys. Front drive axle. Oh, sweet. Oh, we are short another uh, caliper piston. And then let's add the 255. There we go. Front suspension. Oh, you can even see it through here. Nice. It is completely done and taken care of. Now the rear is a little bit quicker, I think. The upper suspension arm. Bottom suspension arm B. Is that what that one was? Hold on. Let's see. Bottom suspension arm B. Upper suspension arm. Okay. We're just going to do suspension. So bottom suspension arm B. And then just straight up upper. Oh, hey. No, no tie rods here, I guess. Wheel hub B. Remember that one. So you need wheel hub B and rear knuckle axle cover. Alright, let's order these. Wheel hub B. One of those. Axle cover for the rear. And then we need non ventilated brake discs. There we go. Oh, well, okay, yeah, I forgot. I did. I went through and I bought the uh, the drive axles in at the end of the last video because I was trying to square up the tires and I realized that we have to put those on, so I had to buy new ones. And yeah, all right, there we go. Oh yeah, so so much faster than doing the other side or doing the front side. I think this from start to finish will literally take me a minute. Maybe even maybe not even a minute per per side. There we go. Double wishbone rear shock. Knuckle axle. Oh no. Why did I put the bad one on? That was weird. I think I might have misclicked. And then I think we are going to repaint this uh, Lamborghini. But when I say repaint it, guys, the entire thing's already carbon fiber, so we can only paint the trim and accessory pieces. Okay, there we go. Let's check this thing out. Car status, 99 global parts condition. Oh, no! Uh. Guys, there's a piston ring that didn't get changed out. No. Okay. Deep breath. I can fix this. I'll just have to go through and redo it in a minute here. Oh, dang it. That's terrible because that means that's going to just cut into our re restoration value so much. Okay. Oh, man. All right. Let's make sure all the body parts are pulled off that we don't need. Give me that window. Okay, so let's start with the rear here. We'll go through and buy these parts one at a time. So we need rear bumper and tail lights. So let's get the rear bumper and tail lights first. Mm, actually, guys, here. 
I'm gonna run through the junkyard. Let's go to the junkyard. Let's see. I don't know if we can find these parts at the junkyard, and if we can't, I'll just I'll just waste end. I was gonna wait wasting a ton of money, uh, traveling back and forth. But here, I'm gonna go to the junkyard to see if we can find some Lamborghini pieces. Um. I probably should have checked to see which pieces we had. Dang it. Dang it. Um, it's fine. We can usually make money off buying pieces here anyways. Okay, so we're, well, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go in here. We're going to click on this. And then we're just going to scroll through. Holy crap. A V10 engine block? Give me that. Uh, yeah, we're just going to scroll through and just go through all the junk piles looking for anything that says lamborghini on it or looks lamborghini related i mean i think it'll probably take me quite a while here so i'm just going to go through and do this for a couple minutes uh see if i can find absolutely anything at all um but i'll meet you guys back in the shop and we will have i'll have the uh piston rings changed out i'll go back through redo the entire engine get those corrected and then we should be good there we go guys i just finished the piston ring changing uh that took forever that took legit like another 20 to 30 minutes for me to i had to take the entire engine back apart top end bottom end front end everything all of this stuff all timing everything came out fixed it it was just two piston rings side by side um on opposite sides but i got those fixed uh in the junkyard last time i left you guys off i found some stuff but it was all too damaged for me to use this one good uh, but it, yeah, it was all too damaged for me to use, which kind of sucks because, yeah, no, we just straight up couldn't use any of it because it was all way too damaged. Uh, I brought it back, repaired it to what I could. None of it I could repair, though, so then we just sold it. Uh, made me like $15,000, though, which is not too shabby. Let me see here. No items to work with. Let's see what those parts that we just pulled off look like. All right, see, so let's get rid of these and these. So we need the, oh geez. Okay, so let's start with the back end like we were going to. So assemble mode, uh oh. So we need engine cover. So we'll do engine cover and rear trunk first. Okay, so lamb. Okay, so let's see, engine cover. Is there a cheaper engine cover? Oh my gosh. So there's our engine cover. Um, rear bumper. Tail light one. Tail light two. Okay, yeah, that dropped us down quite a bit of money there. There you go. We got the rear bumper on. Tail light on. Uh oh. Open. There we go, engine cover's on. What else do we have to do on the rear here? We gotta put new license plates on and trunk windows. So let's get our trunk window. Eight and a half grand for that. Uh, let's get a plate. Um, what do we want to do? Let's see here. Let's do, you know, only people that are gonna be driving this, people in California. Uh, what would we call this? What should we call it? Uh, just... Ah, Lambo. There we go. We'll get one for now, just because I don't know if we have one. I don't think we have room for one on the front, so we'll just stick with one. Okay, there you go. Rear end is done. Now we got to get, get the rear right door windows. And, yeah, okay, so those and the doors. So back to here, back to community car shop. So this one, this one. Oh, that's not a good sign. Let's get the windows at least. Okay, guys, I'll put these on, but you know what this means. This means we have to sell a truck. It's a very, very sad, sad day, sad occasion for the blue Ford F-350. Goodbye.
There we go, $297,000. So that should help us on this purchase. Okay, so we need the right door, and then we're gonna buy those small little windows too. I can't afford that gold, is what we just got. We just got an achievement, nice. Look at the mirrors. We're already down another 100 grand. This, this. Ooh, we're almost there. I don't wanna check the price yet. I wanna be very surprised when I click on the price. This headlight's not. Is this headlight good or bad? This one's good. Yes. So we need front window, front left headlight. So front left headlight, front window, and front bumper. Down to a hundred thousand left. That is uh, cutting it close. Guys, oh my gosh. Okay, so I was close. I was about $100,000 off. I was like $120,000 off. So this is going to sell for 2 million. 2. Point what? 2.4 give or take 2.245 million. That is absolutely insane. All 100% condition right here. Let me drop this down. No, no, drop it down. Don't go up. Uh, we're going to move this bad boy over to paint quick. We need to get this thing painted. This, though, should. It, it should. This is going to pay for itself, though, completely. Um, all right. So what color do we want? I had red in the thumbnail for the last video, but I kind of like this blue right here. Really, really bright. Let's drop the saturation do that here. Let's see what she looks like. I do like it. Yeah. Okay. So all that that was, oh wait, hold on, let me see. Was there a library for this? No. So all that that was, was it just painted all the little edges? The entire, entire car is completely, oh, we need to put seats in. Okay, the entire car, yeah, the entire car is completely carbon fiber, so it doesn't really matter. Let's see. Nice. It looks like we don't have a steering wheel yet. Hold on. Uh, interior disassemble. Okay, so C11 11 leather. Okay. Ah, go back to normal. Okay. Interior. So we need seat 11. 11 leather. Let's see. What color is the interior? Is it black? It's black. Okay. Then we will do some nice black leather. Two of these, and then we're gonna go to steering wheel. I think it's probably gonna be a Pagani wheel, honestly. So it's a crazy looking supercar wheel. Kinda like this one. There's the Pagani Hyra. Is there any other ones on here? Okay, the Zonda, the Viper. Okay, we're gonna do the Zonda here. There we go. It doesn't say Pagani on it anywhere, which is good. There we go. Get some perfect seats in here. I think that's the correct wheel, too. Oh, there we go. We got the Lambo doors sliding down. What's the price at now? Okay, yep. So, still the same thing. So, let's get this uh let's get this thing tested let's see it's 667 horsepower let's move it over to the dyno i'm thinking i'm thinking somewhere around a thousand i think a little bit below a thousand horsepower uh just because of the fact that we didn't have very many mods to put on here oh she is loud all right here we go Oh, that was pretty good. So we gained 57%, basically 58% torque, which is 733 total pounds, foot pounds of torque. And then we got 1,147 horsepower on this bad boy here. Guys, 
That is going to do it, though, for the Lamborghini. I'm going to go over here and sell it here, see what we can get in auction for it. Uh, hoping for around, yeah, 2.4, 2.5. So this is definitely going to be our most expensive car ever rebuilt in this shop. I don't think we're going to beat it for quite a while. Um, but I don't know. I, I do want to keep it just because it's insanely cool to own and have. But we probably shouldn't. We, we definitely should sell this thing. Uh, we need the money from it. But man, it is a beauty. If you guys enjoyed this video, though, if you enjoyed uh, doing, you know, some supercars, a little bit different, not as much trucks. Uh, don't go worry. We're going back to trucks. But if you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button down below or leave a comment. To let me know if you guys want me to check out any other supercars, any other like Ferraris or McLarens or anything like that. We can do some of those. Uh, I'm sure that there are uh, mods out for those. But thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.